one of the shots that I've always wanted to get is a continuation of the beautiful form of a kingfisher as it completes the entire sequence of its hunting dive above the water but continuing it below as well. I've never seen that done because usually out in the wild all you'll see is a quick flash of blue as the kingfisher zips past you and grabs a fish. I wanted to slow that down and show people every stage of its hunt. It took me a long, long time to figure out exactly how I could do it, but I was fortunate enough to come across a hide where I thought it would be possible. And from then on, it was just a case of working out the technicalities, camera-wise, and sticking at it. A lot of patience, a lot of problem solving. And of course, even when I had all the individual shots that I needed, there was an awful lot of patience involved in stitching them together seamlessly. This sort of photography isn't just about taking a picture, it's about creating a picture. So although the vision in my head was really natural and really beautiful, the actual setup is really quite utilitarian because the only way to get underwater shots is to use a tank. And it has to be a very special bird which will come in and fish from a tank. To me, the end result is so worth it. It's my vision come to life. It's a challenge overcome and I love it. Some of those hide sessions seem to stretch on forever. There was a time when a friend and I waited for two days just for a kingfisher of any description to turn up. And uh, we were just delighted to get any shots out of that session. But it's a labor of love and of patience and of problem solving to create something beautiful.